Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is Stellaris. Uh, this is the new strategy 4x grand strategy game from Paradox, uh, which is about to be released in a couple of days. I got myself um, preview access, so here we are, uh, and as you're seeing it, the NDAA has just been lifted. And I can show you, yeah, some Stellaris gameplay. You might have already seen the, the end game uh, gameplay video that I did. That's probably uploaded by now. No idea, I yeah, haven't uploaded it yet, but uh, I'll set it as to upload as uh, soon as the NDA, NDA lifts. Anyway, here we are uh, with the like, normal Stellaris, and let's start the game from the start and um, show you how the game works. So, um, Okay, well here we go. This uh, game, it's uh, as you can see in the Cloud Switch engine, the same engine that is from EU4. Um, sort of like EU4 in space, it's more basic, um, but also different. And uh, it's so far been pretty good. We've got 40 hours into the game now. I just finished one game, one giant game with a thousand stars. Don't think for this series we'll be making a map that big, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we can see some of the starting races the game's come, which you can create your new one. We'll do that in a moment. It's like a race I created, the, the, the duck, that I used in my single player campaign. These are ducks which uh, are collectivists, militarists, spiritualists. Ducks that believe in Irma, basically. Um, and they live on the planet of Irma. And they were using mass drivers like bullet weapons and warp travel, which is like one of the easier things. And they were using bird ships. And um, yeah, I also created the race for fun last time. Kamoko, uh, spider people, <laughs> spider girls who use red lasers and hyperspace travel. That's quite different. And they are collectivists and fanatic xenophobes. And yeah, I tried the game and then I died. <laughs> that uh, was me declaring war that too early. So we won't be doing that this time. Uh, as for now, let's, let's actually start making a new race. Why not? I had an idea in mind as well. Um, use your character creator, or race creator I should say. Um, let's start from the top. What should we look like? There's a uh, ton of options you can play as. Mammals, reptilians, avians, arthropoids, think insects, molluscoids, think uh, slugs, and fungoids, think, uh, think mushrooms, fungi. <laughs> um, and with all that, I have a, a ton of different sub, op sub options. Um, I'm thinking for this playthrough, we're gonna make the Chozo race from like Super Metroid and the Metroid series. And yeah, it's kind of hard to pick. Uh, between like these two, I think this one fits better. Also, this might be a fit, but I think this feels like a better race for our Chozo people. So let's go with that. Um, this is the name uh, of the race, so that will be the Chozo. Uh, plural of Chozo is um, Chozo. Adjective for Chozo, can generate that, it's Chozo. This is Chozo in space. Just, sure. That's not a spelling, like Chozo in space. Um, okay. And yeah, what's your name list that we have? Like we could have all sorts of names, like just boring old Yumi names. Like that. Uh, just mammalian names, so I probably should do an avian thing. Uh, I think I had... Um, this one with the hatchlings and the plumage. Um, no, this one I had with my duck race, so I should pick something else here. Um, star flock. We're in a murder of <laughs> murders. When you're playing with a crow race, I guess. Um, 
it doesn't fit the show, show so very much. So let's do this. Could also add like a prefix so everything will be named Q something or Jojo. Oh, that's probably not bad. Jojo obstinate hatchling. Sure. And so all the chips will be out. Jojo in the front. Sure. Next stop. Um, our actual race um, racial traits. And um, what are chosen like? Well, they're smart, really smart. So let's just say they're intelligent. Um, they also probably have some bad sides because I, yeah, I can. You can you can pick like four things total in the list, but you only have two points to work with. So uh, you can just pick one thing like intelligent and go on. But I could also pick some downsides and then some other upsides. Um, I think the slow Jozo especially are slow breeders. I think uh, there's not much of them, so they breed slowly. That will, yeah, increase the call the growth time for us in game. But uh, oh well. Then we have another point left that we can use. Uh, and this is yeah, a bit confusing. But the, the red ones just take points away, and the green ones give you points. Um, it sort of fits if you think about it. But not that standard. Um, I think the Chosen do live long. They're enduring. Yeah, that fits. They're intelligent, they breed slowly, and they're enduring. That's uh, pretty good, actually. Could put one more thing in, but I'd. Yeah, uh, that would be uh, just a negative modifier, and why would even do that? Um, I think this is good enough fit for a chosen race. Let's uh, continue with that. Um, the six. Um, there's a difference with that. And uh, there's color variants. Oh. Um. Hmm. Have to choose. <laughs> Don't really know the colors of the chosen. So. <laughs> like I use this. Uh, Info page for a bit of info that you see them all over it's Super Met well, the Metroid series, and there's a manga, but manga's in black and white, so that doesn't help much, much with colors. Um, hmm. Well, there's the golden uh, Torizo, which is sort of like this, I guess. Golden one. Maybe just all black like this, because it's that, as you see, are black. Let's, let's do that. And the clothes. Uh, well, this feels the most like a power armor, so let's do that. Um, and the name, it's our ruler. Um, I guess we just add an old bird, which is like the, the one Jojo from the like, manga. Which I read one day. He's the reader of our lace. He is male. Um... And he'll die at one point, and then we'll have new rulers, and the rulers don't really matter that much anyway. That's fine. Um, next option. Our starting home world. Um, yeah, here's a whole list of planets here. There's continental pl planets, like, like Earth, basically. Uh, ocean world, that's what I picked with the ducks. Uh, lots of oceans, lots of islands. Uh, Arctic worlds, really cold. Only on that. Tundra worlds, well... Basically tundra, arid, um, that's not desert, this, these are desert planets, so if you want to start making your own Arrakis, uh, you can do that. Arid's more like, um, yeah, mesas and such, it's not as bad as desert, but still not very good. And there's also tropical worlds, um, which can also fit, hmm. Most of what you see in like the Metroid games is like uh, kind of continental, I guess. Super Metroid, uh, Zabus is like the surface is all rainy, so maybe tropical. Uh, if you look like at Metroid Three, Metroid Prime, even that's more desert. That so doesn't really matter for us much, I think. Um, you know what? We'll go with desert. I haven't played with desert yet. Uh, it does fit if you think about Metroid Prime. Um, um, 
I guess our home world will be Talon 4 then. And I guess our stars. I have no idea what the stars named there. Talon. Sure. <laughs> um, and you can also pick a starting solar system. Like we want to start with Sol. That's okay. Also the Danep system. Is it Commonwealth of Man? No idea. It's some sort of different soul. Uh, no, we'll just make a, a make a random system with uh, where we start our own home world of Talon 4. Uh, it's probably not like the actual home world of the Jozo, but uh, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. We yeah, I can pick our city types. Uh, you can see in the background when you're on the planets. Lots of options. Um, hmm. Avian would be a fit for the race, but is that Jozo like? Hmm, definitely not Fungoid or Malsoid or maybe just Mammalian Reptilian? Hmm. Uh, this does look a bit more sciencey, so we'll do reptilian cities. We are birds uh, living in reptilian cities. <laughs> sure. Next, uh, here is a very important thing: our government and ethics. How is our government run? I've been thinking, and uh, they should probably be pacifists because that's what they are. Well, not complete, true, pa fanatic pacifists, uh, but just normal pacifists. They They'd make all the power armors and such for, uh, for, for Samus. And um, these other options here, there's so much. Xenophobes, militarists, spiritualists. Um, xenophiles. I was thinking probably materialists. They, uh, well, maybe even fanatic materialists. Um, they uh, are very... Uh, that's basically the opposite of... Um, Spiritual is materialist, so these are hardcore atheists, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, they do believe in science. They are very sciencey. And because we've chosen a couple of things here, with our three ethics points, we can now choose our type of government here, and lots are grayed out because we have not chosen any like fitting thing. Like if you go spiritual, you get this row, and if you go materialist, you get this row. And there's a lots of different types of um, yeah government types we can have director democracy science directorate hege despotic hegemony more of democracy peaceful bureaucracy enlightened monarchy indirect democracy autocratic oligarchy all the hard words to say in the despotic empire I think for the chosen best fit would be. Probably a science directorate. They very sciencey, um, and they let the scientists rule, I guess. <clears throat> Elite assault army. Oh, that's fun. That's not really fitting. So here, yeah, it's a science directorate. Every forty years, there's a new leader. Forty to fifty years. Um, it's also nice I get more options while choosing research and get more leader capacity so I can put in more rulers. We'll see what that is later. Um, sure. Next. Uh, the Empire name. Well, uh, that's the Jozo. Didn't we add that like, in the name list? Uh, that's the name of the species. This is the name of the Empire. Well, the Empire is also named Jozo with Jozo and things. Yeah. Maybe it should just be Chozo. Chozo in space, Chozo space. Probably should just be Chozo, right? Alright, yeah. Everything's Chozo. Chozo, Chozo, Chozo. Uh, next. Here's our flag when we can pick. Um, yeah, I don't really know a symbol for that. I've not looked at this yet either. Maybe a wing or something. Um, human things. Just the good old HRE. Just a science symbol. Um, hmm. Something like a really fancy Powerball. Or 
thing. Um, lots of things, windy symbols. Get okay, probably more the more symbols in later as well. This is basically the morph ball. Yeah. Let's go with that. Uh, also our flag. Uh, I think our primary color should be yellow. Um, the type of flag. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I think this looks nice enough. And the secondary color. Um, just keep it yellow, or well, maybe you just keep it like this yellow and black, it's fine. This is the thing we'll see on the map, and also our primary color will be our uh, like color of our empire on the map. I think that is fitting. Um, it's the like, fire suit is like yellowish, uh, we'll do that. Uh, and what sort of weapons do we use? Um, hmm. This, this is a starting weapon, later on we can spec into other things, but you have like a bias towards these uh, weapons, yeah, either projectile, lasers, or missiles. Um, thinking probably more lasers. Um, Contorizo shoots all sort of energy beams, so let's use energy weapons. Um, also, it all like normal Torizo has like also the projectile weapons. I haven't tried missile weapons yet either. Now we'll we'll go with lasers, freaking space lasers. And now our travel FTO method. Um, yeah, there's three different metals of the old of moving between the stars. Um, easiest is definitely warp travel. You can just hop from any planet to another planet if it's in or si any si solar system to another solar system if it's in range. Hyperspace travel is like um, games like Endless Space. Where you uh, have like a network of lines that you have to go to also. Uh, the recent uh, Master of Orion title um, uses that. Uh, there's also wormhole travel, which is harder. I haven't tried that yet. You have to build like wormhole generators, and you can use that to jump a couple of systems out and back. Um, hmm. What would fit for the Chozo though? Um, well, most of the yeah, it's hyperspace travel. You're gonna s do the, the most of the FTL medals you're gonna see probably on the internet right now are probably more just normal warp travel, and maybe with some hardcore people just going for warm warp travel. So, I guess we'll go for hyperspace travel. It's kind of hard though. Uh, they are really fast. That's the bonus on them. Um, but you're yeah on a fixed network. Um, maybe you should go for the, f the harder form of travel. Um, hmm. Um, you know what? You know what? I think we'll do it. Fuck it. Let's uh, go wormhole travel. We'll have to build wormhole generators everywhere, which means expanding in the beginning can be quite tough. I'll need to make sure to build an extra couple of uh, um, construction ships to build these things everywhere. And I cannot expand as far. But late game, that's gonna really suck. Because you guys have to build them everywhere. No, we'll, we'll not do that. Fuck it. We'll go for hyperspace travel. I've actually played the game. Late game wormhole travel sounds like an immense pain. So, yeah, we'll go hyperspace travel, which uh, limits us to the hyperlane network, which is uh, 
also uh, still challenging enough for that Kumoko game I did was using this and we died. Guess we're yeah, lasers and hyperspace travel were the same. But sure. Uh, and our ships. Um Yeah. What should they look like? Hmm. Don't ever see Chozo's ships themselves. Um I've played with bird ships, so let's try something else. Guess this is the closest thing we have to like Sam's spaceship, but I don't think that's like Chozo made. Um uh, yeah, this is maybe a bit too blocky. This uh, would fit our cities. It's too colorful. <laughs> um, I'm thinking. You see, I also see the ship from the side and not from the front, and it might look different. Um, maybe just Archer Point again. Uh, I'm horrible with choices. Uh, just avian again. Fits them being space race. Um, no, I'll pick molluscoid ships. We'll be using uh, slug ships because it's rounded. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, that's what I'm going for. Next, uh, yeah, we're done. It's an overview here. Uh, we've created our race of the Jozo. Let's um, save it and press done so we can start our empire. Here's uh, our starting options. My uh, uh, single player game I played with huge. Let's not do that for this system. Let's do a tiny, is also very tiny. Let's go small, it's 400 stars. Um, it is spiral galaxy, sure. Uh, AI Empires 11, that seems like a good difficulty normal, yeah, let's keep it at that. The late game might become easy, but yeah, for now it's okay, keep Iron Man mode off. Um, other races can use any other type of FTL, that's fine, if you want to limit them to like only using uh, hyperdrives like we're using, that's fine. Um, this makes things makes things pretty interesting. Uh, An enemy AI can just yeah can be using uh, wormholes or yeah, normal FTL and um, might just jump in, uh, even though we can just defend ourselves at certain points. So that'll make things uh, maybe that harder. Um, okay, let's uh, let's play with this. We're actually starting the game. 23 minutes in. Hey. Here we are. Yeah. It's been ages since the, we've come from the great dune seas of Talon 4. Civilization's spread its prophets. Through scientific progress, we have managed to stamp out the superstitions that ruled the minds of our ancestors. As a reason, irrational thoughts spread amongst our people, even in efficient nation states that we had had until. Then organized themselves, organized ourselves into were disbanded, and a council of most accomplished scientists were gathered to rule in their stead. Now, after the discovery of the hyperlane network, the finest minds of the Joseph has finished development of the first hyperdrive. The stars, the cells are with finally within our grasp. They sure are. Well, here we go. This is our home system of Talon 4. Let's take a look at it with our Sana Talon. Here's our planet of uh, Talon 4. Our planet. Uh, we even have a governor. Uh, it's what the surface looks like. We can upgrade tiles and such here. Arm we have armies in them. Well, not yet. We have one defense army, but we can build more later. Um, we have a spaceport with some people in orbit around here. Um, let's, let's you out. and uh, Let's take a look at our galaxy. So, this is the looks of our galaxy, huh? Uh, it's pretty tiny, but uh, that's small. It, it, this will be fine. Uh, you like the center here where nothing is. Uh, well, massive black holes, you don't want to get in there. That's how galaxies work, work, apparently. And yeah, there's some things on the map, like nebulas, that we've seen. 
Uh, Nebula, they like, yeah, you move you around slower. Um, so, yeah, where are we? Where shall we expand to? Um, let's see. Well, first of all, let's uh, explore our home solar system, see what's in there. We have a science ship over here. That's uh, the ship commanded by the Kahira. And we can tell her to well, check things out. If I right click a thing here, like a star, we can do survey. You can also do survey system, they'll automatically get the entire system. Huh! One of the plants is Seeknor. <laughs> One of the guys who actually works at Paradox. Uh, and uh, he's also from, like, from something awful, just as I am. <laughs> Pretty fun to see. He's like, uh, used to do. I can think of Doom or something, let's play back it down. Didn't look not, not a blood, blood ball, but now he works at, actually works at Paradox. Pretty interesting. He's uh, the person you see on the Paradox streams, if you've seen those. Um, otherwise, I have no idea about these star names, they're just random. Well, birdie things, like Bragg. <laughs> um, I guess this is sort of like SR3811. A little different. Uh, maybe name our planets uh, uh, later after things in the Metroid universe. Or maybe our main planets. Anyway, as for now, our science ship is gonna uh, go around, check out our system, check out. Uh, we can find some resources there. And uh, we'll do that. Uh, our construction ship we have, we can't do much with that yet until we find stuff in our system. Um, we have our star fleet. That's three whole ships. Uh, yeah, this is what they look like. Not much to write home about, and the military power of 70 is basically nothing. Need to uh, get research some techs and do more things later. But let's um, use these to, like, uh, explore. Especially with the hyperlane, it's good to explore early. I'm thinking, maybe just splitting up the entire fleet. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, go back to the fleet. We'll split it into three. Uh, no, split. Okay. Uh, we'll just send them around. They won't be able to scan systems, but they will just be able to go around. I can get over here. And we're gonna try and send you on like a path around the galaxy, now we can still can later on we cannot, so scouting in the beginning like this like in the very early beginning is pretty good so after that, uh, come back here that's uh, the trip uh, the first ship is going to take second ship is going to go like the other way around oh here's a massive choke point, so let's go towards that um, yeah, and go towards like here, 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 and here. Uh, also go to here. And the third ship, I guess, will send out to check out this wing. So go here, here, and we'll also shift to cube multiple commands. And go back there. You'll have the easiest journey. Okay, um, with that said, I think we can start. Uh, no, not yet, we have science to do. Uh, thanks to my uh, government choice of being very scientific uh, rulers, I have four choices instead of three. Science system works with these card-like things, which, um, yeah, give you more options. Uh, if you don't pick one, uh, there's no guarantee the one will come back next time um, but there's like a weight system to the cards and some of them will show up more often than uh, than others um, so let's see what do I want from these things um, this is for my orbit station it's okay um, better sensors or maybe I'm not bad to start off with with uh, some better sensors for ships. Uh, here we should have the option for colony ships. Pro tip, choose that as your first thing. 
so you can start expanding. What if you, you pick something else and then you come back and you don't have the colony ship option again? It's very unlikely since the card weight system, but it could happen. So pick colony ships the first time uh, chance you have because colonizing is goddamn important. Uh, let's see engineering. Um, Mills are going to be very important. Um, very important. Important enough to like start with that. Okay. And this will let us upgrade our mines or the, on our planets basically. So we'll do that. And with that, I think we can start. Um, take a look at the system here. Oh, and pause. And ships will start doing their thing. And like sign ships here is uh, moving out to scan our sun of Talon. So it's more like Talon 1 than Talon 4. <laughs> but so uh, well. And in the meanwhile, our ships have started to spread out. He's over there. Uh, he's over there. He's also over there. And uh, you won't see them moving across the map much. Well, maybe a tad. And um, yeah, you see the move. And yeah, since I have this option on, that's the details map mode, uh, you can see what I found in those systems. There's a desert world here. That's good. We we are all. Um, we start on desert planets, so we should find desert planets to colonize. Also, we found some aliens. Uh, let's take a look at that. Oh, well, intelligent life already? What? Uh, we found some aliens over here, apparently. Alpha aliens. Let's take a look at them. Um, oh god, we have a, a neighbor. This is another space empire, it seems. Holy shit! Um, okay. Here already? God damn. <laughs> Um, or it doesn't show like yet, an or like a radius around it, but it's okay. Uh, they have an Arctic world there. Let's continue the game and let's look at things. So here's a tropical world. We we need one desert world. It's possibly large desert worlds. So these Arctic worlds are complete shit for us. Ocean worlds as well. Uh, lots of things happening because I'm doing much of things at the same time. Found another type of alien, beta aliens are now, until we research them. Also our uh, scientist has found an anomaly uh, on one of the planets, maybe alien. There is a 45% risk chance though, which is pretty goddamn high. Let's uh, leave that be for now. Could Something horrible could happen uh, with that. So I'm not, not touching that. So let's continue some more. Uh, found even more aliens. Uh, let's see. So there's some more aliens over here. These. Uh, oh, I think these are the same aliens. Maybe. Ah, these might be the mining drones. There's like some left behind mining drones in some systems. They're like, they're like barbarians. Basically, in C4, uh, you have to kill them. Uh, because they attack you. Also here I think we've actually found like a different AI. Beta aliens. Uh, I think they're like uh, fungoids. They're the beta aliens. Um, well, let's leave that be for now. We could uh, sp yeah, start some projects on investigating these aliens. However, that would stop uh, our society research for like 180 days. Society research is searching for the colony ships and I do want to rush that, so... I'm not gonna research these aliens until the colony ship is done. And in the meantime, they might contact me as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it could be pretty handy to wait. Uh, this yeah seems like an actual neighbor here. That's blocking our path. Um, 
In the meantime, we'll continue. Our uh, science ship is still uh, in our home system, scanning all the things. Here's the anomaly we found. Looks like we found some energy deposits on uh, C Verb. Uh, we can actually use our construction ship to build a mining station there to mine it. And yeah, that's one of the few ways you get resources in the game. What I'm especially looking for in the early game is lots of uh, minerals. Uh, and there he found some minerals. Uh, we'll get that soon. Found even more aliens. Um, let's see what's over here. Um, space squids, uh, by the looks of things. These are not really a problem. Uh, unless that randomizes from game to game, I have no idea. <laughs> As you can see with the details map mode on, that uh, we found this uh, minerals and such in our system. I'll leave this on for now. You can also see like the detection radius of our ships. Here we found apparently more aliens of the same type. Uh, oh, these. These are like sentient clouds. And uh, they are not super aggressive, I think. Let's go on. So there's a black hole over here. Bet there's some good research to be done if we uh, make a station around there. We'll probably have some interstellar like time problems, but uh, that's not our problem. <laughs> um, let's see, more aliens. Probably more mining drones. Yeah. They are the best. They, they are like the most like barbarians. Uh, Let's see five. Um, meanwhile, worlds-wise, we found uh, there's another desert world here. Probably a good spot to like start and colonize here. Found another set of aliens here. With a thing like this, these are probably another space empire. They have like no idea. Uh, anomaly, 35% risk chance. Let's leave that be for now. Do that later. Uh, okay, we're getting lots of lots of problems because I sent lots of lots of ships ships out. Uh, theta aliens we found as well now, and Eta aliens. So many aliens. What's over here? Crystals. And so things that are in space, and here's. Uh, more of these space squids. Uh, but as I was saying, I found like a desert world here. Um, yeah, getting this arc of the galaxy for us seems like a good idea. So we'll probably start and colonize here. There's a lot of planets here. Hope it's the big one. Uh, this is Arctic. Uh, that's habitable. Let's tune there. Well, this isn't the big one. Size 9. This can like, go up like 25. And 9 is actually pretty small. Um, so maybe not the best target for our first uh, expansion. Let's uh, see what else we find. Need to find more around here, but yeah, ships are busy. I think here the two ship spots are going to start to start to diver diverge even. So yeah, this is definitely a different civilization as well. Epsilon aliens. Uh, ah, we've created our mining station in the orbit here. And I can see on the, the main map this is green, that's ours. Uh, you can use a construction ship to build a mining station on Seeknor. Thanks for the minerals, Knorr. <laughs> nice. Uh, science ship is still busy sciencing in our main planet. Our main uh, star system. We found even more aliens. Uh, no idea where. <laughs> this one is starting to start a huge journey around. 
Luckily the ships don't have fuel or anything. Uh, you can just warp from planet to planet. And then, yeah, at least because I'm using the hyperlanes, uh, they'll move pretty fast. Other empires you won't see it move as fast as this. But they might have like advantages, like uh, a normal warp drive might be able to jump from here to here. I cannot. I must go to either here or here. So that's 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 an issue. That's a thing. And uh, yeah, with the wormhole travels, I would have not been able to scout out as much at all. I need to be able to build more construction ships, like build a wormhole generator, and I guess we'll. No idea with the range, but I'm guessing something like this. Then we would have to build another wormhole station like here, and so forth. I think you can build those outside of your borders, but you still have to build them everywhere. Um. Huh. There are more things, yeah, more things in life, and yeah, this starts a quest to scan things in the universe. Um, Habitable Worlds Survey. Uh, uh, first, I'm searching for Habitable Worlds. I need to survey them. And pause. So, we saw earlier that our, our scientist leveled up. He levels up and then uh, yeah, he works faster and maybe gets different traits. He's uh, oh, he got a roamer uh, perk. That ups his survey speed, so that's pretty nice, especially in the beginning. Looks like uh, there's another empire over here, Kappa aliens. If I zoom at this level, we can see them. Let's see what's there. And hey, the Irmathi system. That's my race of space ducks. They uh, are in the game, and they're right over here. Uh, also, the science ship is done, and is the construction ship. Looks like we found some more constructions in town, and usually, luckily I can just do it from the main map. You will be able to just click all of them. If you have enough uh, minerals, you can build them in there, just like that. Um, I think what we should start with is surveying the worlds around us. That are in our borders because that's where we can build like mining stations, and then after that, we should definitely go and see all the desert worlds that we can colonize, or Gaia worlds, which are worlds that anyone can colonize, and we want to get those if possible. So much there's like hardly any desert worlds around, just like this one. Otherwise, you will probably be having problems with neighbors. Maybe we can expand into here. I hope so. Yeah, getting... Hmm. If I expand into here, I need this line, this this hyper lane over here. And I absolutely must have it. And there's a neighbor here. What I might do is build a... Uh, uh, a, uh, a system over here. I could build a frontier outpost uh, if I had the cash for it. Or we should be going on to a really early war. <laughs> um, as for the science ship, um, go explore the systems around us that are in our influence right now. And then we'll move on. Let the construction ship uh, finish the thing over here. What are the ships doing? That's okay. Found some more things. All these red explanation marks are where ships were seen. You're starting your very long journey. Hmm. I think the first colony ship will go here anyway. So I can start some borders around here, so I have this point, so I can get somewhere from here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, more ships found. Man. 
this one's already nearly back, as is this one. This one is just leaving, basically, the poor dude. Going on such a long journey from home. Um, and yeah, the talent system has been completely surveyed. So now we know all there is. Construction ship is going on towards this uh, asteroid to uh, build a mine. And our science ship started uh, sciencing up the Baltry system over here. Call my plan planets. Very uh, tropical even. It's a colonel? What the hell is even a colonel planet? <laughs> oh well. How's the research doing? Slow, but uh, it's getting there. 15 months available till we have the, the colony ship. Mm. I think we should also probably build another science ship. Uh, how expensive is that? If I go to Talon, I can just I can double click or you can just click it from the main star map here. I can go to the spaceport and build myself a science ship. Um, 22% Leave me for now, we need to scan more systems uh, Build me a science ship So we can start scanning more things uh, here You can see this planet's building, uh, busy building a science ship hmm. There's two like black holes here Huh. Uh, any desert worlds here? No. Uh, actually, since you're back, you don't need your back. Well, maybe for something goes wrong. Um, now let's let's do the scouting where we can. You go here. Um, no, you go here. Let, let's see if there's anything in this arc. Because this looks very colonizable. Let's send him like around the edge. And then you can go back. The other dude. Uh, we cannot change his course because he's mid warp. Now we can. You will take like the inner edge. Uh, pick up this one as well. And maybe go here as well and then go back. Okay. Meanwhile, this guy still on the way. Structure ship done. Um, so should I? I probably should. Um... I hope there's no aliens around in this system. Well, I'm moving the construction ship there anyway already. I think we need like 90 minerals to build a thing. Um, resources wise, there's just the three things. Energy is basically your money. Minerals is basically production from sim. You build everything with minerals. The more minerals you have, the more ships you can build, the more stations you can build. Production is king at solar minerals. Energy is more like keeping your ships uh, running. Minerals is actually building them. Influence is for getting leaders, which uh, we actually need to do right now. Like, we have a new science ship, but there's no scientist aboard. And you need a scientist to aboard a science ship. So we'll uh, assign a leader. Um, we yeah, have our set of scientists who are working on our science and in the other science ship. So we'll need a new one. Uh, let's uh, assign a new leader. We'll recruit a new leader. We can have 11 total at the moment. We can recruit one more. And is there a good option for research speeds? Hmm. This one could be nice to have. This could actually boost up our colonizing. Um, I think we'll at least recruit this one. And um, yeah, as you can see, this is a our scientist here is a biology guy, but 
we now have a recruited scientist which is better in new world colonizing so let's replace this guy with the colony researching guy which should speed up our research of our colony ship um, now we could fire the uh, biology guy could also put him to work in the science the new science ship uh, take a look at our leader screen he is in here he does only have one star if I recruit another one, is there one better for science researching? Um, not really. Although this one, he'll last a long time. The longer they live, the more skills they can gain. That's pretty good, actually. And he's 45. I think he'll get this one. Recruit him. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, the biology guy. We won't need you anymore. Let's uh, kick him out. You're dismissed. You're fired. Now, on the new ship, we'll put in the long-lived guy. And now we can start sciencing up with this. And since we're planning to build like a frontier outpost to get some borders around here, uh, let's uh, go and survey that system. Here, man, here. Here, man. Uh, how much for that? Oh, hey, one of the aliens contacted me. Uh, oh, this is a Vold Empire, probably. So I entered their borders off. Um, my ship was kicked out. Uh, hey, since I'm pacifist, I could just say peace be with you, or <laughs> these are. Spiritualists, uh, they probably don't like as much. Um, so this is a fall of the empire. Should talk about that. Uh, let's just, just say peace be with you. Yeah, now we have actually encountered intelligent life. Um, let's pause for a second. Construction ship, um, frontier outpost is like 100. Uh, oh, and 200 influence. We don't have that yet. Hmm. Fuck. Okay, so there's no use in getting the colony ship here. We need to build up influence points so we can do that. Um, there is, another, however, a new energy mine here. So, construction ship, go. Oh, move here already so you can build a mine there. Uh, let's find those aliens. Oh god, they're right here! Of course they are. Uh, this is a fallen empire. They... Our stagnant ascendancy. They protect holy places. They yeah, they protect the celestial throne, which is uh, located here. And they consider some systems holy. And uh, they've declared all this holy. Now you think, oh, well, well, Doc, just go kill them. Their fleet power, naval capacity, and technology level is overwhelming compared to ours. If I would attack them, I would horribly, horribly die at this point. End game, then you can take them, maybe. But, uh, well, yeah, you can definitely take them end game. But, that's a long time away. Like, in my single player game, it was the year 2500. Uh, probably 20, 2450 before I could start taking on Fallen Empires, so... Yeah. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. So, colonizing near here seems to be a problem. Luckily, they hardly ever expand, though. Um, so this route might still be open towards me. And as long as I don't get into their space and colonize their planets, like they used to have, like, Pretty good plans, though. It's, uh, I have no idea. I can see it, and I will not be able to get back in there. Um, so, yeah, otherwise, planet-wise, is there anything interesting here? No. There's a guy world. It's pristine jewel. Now, this... Uh, eh, Names with fancy names like Pristine Jewel or a beacon of something. Those are probably from a fallen empire and you should not colonize them. Pristine Jewel, 
sounds like something from a fallen empire. And if it's not this fallen empire, there might be another one right next to them. Uh, as of our ships, let's see, there's, uh, let's see. Ship 2 is still on the way. Ship 1 is going there and not doing much more. Uh, we cannot go here because of border issues. Um, there's ship 3 is well. Ship 1 and Ship 3 is what I'm working with. Um, you? No, definitely, yeah. Can you go here? No, they're apparently... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Not the just the white part you see here is their border. This is also their border. The, the like black part you can see is what I've seen, I think. It's a miracle I could get here. So, there's basically a giant blocker preventing from me going to this arm of the galaxy. From going, yeah, that way. Going to here, well, will be possible though. Maybe I should do that. Or otherwise here. Um, okay, so new plans. You. Yeah, pristine jewel. This has to be in the yeah, other space. I'm not going to colonize that. How about you get here anyway? You'll find some spots on the outside. Oh, the Irmathi are here and another empire is here. I'm going to be so locked in. God. Maybe here. Go there. Maybe we'll find a, a good planet there. Um, so that was ship one. Ship three. Go, uh, go around here, and f hopefully find me a planet. No sign of any other empires here, though, so who knows? And any good planets? There's a desert world. Um. Uh, these two desert worlds. Uh, this is toxic world. Desert world here. Twenty-five. Bingo. Here is where we're gonna colonize our first ship, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm not wait like want the frontier outpost like here is so this will keep open for me. Although I hope that didn't, doesn't piss the Fallen Empire off. And what I should do is establish an embassy with these, these fuckers. They, yeah, they're dismissive about me, though they don't care about me, but... At least the embassy might make things a bit happier. And may, might not completely piss them off. <laughs> they think they're materialist fools, though. Um... Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're also like an hour in. So I think we'll end the episode here. We found, we've yeah, explored the galaxy. Well, sort of. We found our first fallen empire. And we found other AIs. Uh, but yeah, we haven't talked to them yet. Next episode we'll probably uh, be able to to chat with some more of them. Hope these are not very strong ones, these beta aliens. We'll see. Um, as for now, um, yeah, I'll pause. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, the next episode will probably be up soon as well. I'm gonna record a whole bunch and uh, upload them as soon as the NDA lifts and. Uh, a couple of the days after that, so uh, stay here for some more uh, Chozo in space um, Empire content. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.